In this video I'm going to be going through question 4 on paper 1 GCSE Foundation Mathematics from MathTutor.biz and MathDVDs.co.uk So I'm working through this question 4 showing you how to do it and the marks are awarded for this particular question. Should you want to see the rest of the questions on this paper and paper 2 and the DVDs that go with it then you'll need to go to MathTutor.biz or massdvds.co.uk to get full details. So here we've got a formula for working out the pay of anyone that works at a particular place that uses this formula. And the pay is worked out by doing £7.40 multiplied by the number of hours worked. In other words, we're being paid £7.40 an hour. Sam worked for five hours, find her pay. So she's going to get five lots of the £7.40. Now, how you work this out is entirely up to you. It's your exam. It's your exam paper. You can do it in your head if you like and just write the answer down. Don't recommend that. Or you can write it down and multiply it and do it any way you like. I'm going to go for this. If you multiply a decimal, either by a decimal or a whole number as that is, you do it without the decimal point and go 5 noughts is naught, 5 fourths is 20, 5 sevens is 35, 36, 37. So 5 times 740 is 3,700. And then put the dot in the question and in the answer. Now the examiner is going to be happy with either of those two answers, but not happy with that one because it's got no units, it's got no pound sign. So again, quite a straightforward question. And it's actually worth two marks. So if you get it right with either of these answers, you will get your two marks. But if you get it wrong and you've done no working out, you'll get naught. But if you get it wrong and you've done some working out and the examiner can see that you know how to do it and to show him how to do it, you write the sign in. So that shows that you know to do this question you do 5 times £7.40. So if you get it wrong, you could still get one mark out of the two marks. I will mention showing you working out over and over and over again. And I don't apologise for doing that. I find that some candidates need to be reminded, especially when they find the questions that little bit easier. Because the temptation is sometimes to do things in your head when you shouldn't. Let's look at part B. Glenn was paid... 18 pounds and 50 pence. So how many hours did he work for? Well, we need to know the hours worked when we know the pay. So to do that, we take the pay and we divide it by the amount per hour. And that will work out number of Hours. Now let's just stop there for a moment. This part B is actually worth two marks. I'm in an exam, I'm a little bit of a state, and I can't think how on earth to do that, so I'm stuck. If I leave the question and go on to the next question, I could still get one mark for that, even though I haven't finished it. Because I've shown the examiner, I know it's this type of question. It's a division question. So that's actually worth a mark writing that down. But let's move on. How are we going to do this division? Well, I'm going to suggest that possibly we think of it another way and we do a little table. One hour gets £7.40. Two hours gets twice that, which is two sevens, two fours. Three hours gets three times that, or add on another 740. So let's add those two things together. 4 and 8 is 12. Carry the 1. 5, 12, 32. 32, 22. Careless. 
So for three hours I get £22.20. So the answer is not two hours, and the answer is not three hours. What about three and a half hours? Let's work out half an hour. Half an hour is half of that, so let's divide that by two. Because to find a half, we divide by two. Two into seven goes three. Put the dot there, put a little one up there. Two into fourteen goes seven. Now two and a half hours is therefore this answer, and this one added together. Naught add naught is naught. Eight add seven is five. There at a one there, because it comes to fifteen. Fourteen and three is seventeen. One is eighteen. That actually gives me the answer. Now, look at my method. You may not like it. You may not have done it that way. The method doesn't matter. You can do a question any way you like. The examiner doesn't mind. As long as you get the right answer. And preferably show what you're thinking. So let's look at it again. It's worth two marks. If I get it wrong, I'm bound to get at least the mark for showing how I did it. By the way, that's called the method mark. Or the I understand how to do it mark. And the accuracy mark, accuracy mark being getting it right. So you definitely get two marks if you get two and a half hours, whatever way you do it. You could get one mark if you show how you do it. I don't apologise for spending a long time going over these easier questions at the beginning because you want to make sure you get all of these marks to make your total as big as possible.